I made a short saying that four wheel drive low does not add any traction to your truck. And well, there was some backlash on that video. Traction is basically the interface between the tire and the ground. And we can add more traction to this truck by spinning more wheels or potentially adding weight to these tires or even changing up the tread or the design of the tire to add traction. All of which four wheel drive low does not do. I've tied this old girl up to a tree, which is actually not the first time I've done that. But what I said is that four wheel drive low is simply a torque multiplier in the drive line. And yes, it will allow more torque to flow to your wheels and may give you better control of your wheels, but it does not actually add any traction. I'll show you my setup. I kind of already have, but right now we're in four wheel drive and this transfer case is a true mechanical locking transfer case and it will split power front and rear 50-50 no matter what until something breaks, which hopefully we don't do today. But what I've done is we have a traction board under this wheel and we have a traction board under the back left wheel. And what we should see and what we've already seen is that only two wheels will spin in four wheel drive high. So you can clearly see only two wheels are spinning in four wheel drive, one wheel up front here and one wheel at the back spinning. And there's another look at it. Yeah, four wheel drive. Now, the big question today is, if we put this truck in four wheel drive low, are we gonna get more traction by more wheels spinning? Maybe three wheels will spin, maybe all four wheels will spin. That's what we're gonna find out. I think not, but it's a real world test. We'll see what happens. Well, the truck won't stay in drive in four wheel drive low unless I'm in the cab. So we're gonna do one continuous shot just so you guys know I'm... <sighs> Just so you guys know I'm not lying. So we are in four wheel drive low. We'll put her into drive. Here we go. And you guys, you guys, and you guys should be able to see two wheels spinning, not all four. Well, there you go. We didn't see any more wheels spin. We didn't see the front axle lock up. We didn't see more torque proportionally coming to the front axle. Why? Because a traditional change of and transfer case like this truck has, it splits the power 50-50 in four-wheel drive high as well as four-wheel drive low. There really isn't any magic or mystic off-road power with four-wheel drive low. It is simply a torque multiplier. And what we did see is that our wheels actually spun quite a bit slower. And that's exactly what four-wheel drive low does. It allows more torque to be transferred to the wheels. Thus, we're gonna have a slower spinning wheel and potentially giving us more control of our wheel, which could allow us to access more of the traction that we already have. If, if that makes sense, hopefully it does. 